HPG Pro is my way to take back what the UFC took from pro wrestling. And what is that uh, as you see it? Um, because people used to believe that it was real. Um, the majority, they didn't come out until 1999 and say that pro wrestling was a work. So when you used to watch it as a kid, no one ever said it was, you know, how it works. And, but now you have something that totally shows you exactly what a real fight looks like in a cage or whatever. And there is nowhere in, a, in real fighting where you see a guy grabbing a guy by the wrist and whipping him into some ropes. He comes back and he gets hit with a you know, clothesline. That's not real fighting. What I'm doing is uh, making real fighting again. The most clout in the Pacific Northwest. There's nobody that has any more than me. And that's, everybody knows that. That's, that's the, I believe that that's the absolute truth. <laughs> thrown off the platform onto a padded area below, which is like an iPod in, in judo or a, uh, you know, even, you can even say sumo, you know, guys being, you know, where they get the ring out, um, or a, a ring out. Um, that is grappling. And what pro wrestling used to be was grappling. At the, if you go look back 100 years ago, it wasn't in a, they, it, it wasn't in a boxing ring, which it is in, in now. You know, the ropes are meant to keep the fighters in. Uh, pro wrestling matches were like the pro level ones were doing what were done on platforms, like Meta Morris does and like we do. I just shortened the ring, I got smart to it, and I didn't want to have guys rolling on the ground for 20 minutes and boring the, the crowd to death. There's jiu-jitsu fights that have gone on for hours. I mean, you can't sell that commercially. You can't sell a 20-minute match commercially. Um, once in a while you can, like uh, the Eddie Bravo and uh, uh, Hoyler Gracie. That was a very impressive match, but the rest of the matches, when they went longer, you know, they were boring the crowd. grappling heart that I could think of, Sambo, Jiu Jitsu, Wrestling, uh, Judo, um, there's just no other place where you're going to see that. Jiu-Jitsu match, are you going to see somebody that does a perfect high point in matches? Oh, like what you would in Judo. You're not. Only in HPG Pro. Um, where are you going to see a, a guy uh, where the fans actually have a chance to pick that guy? I think that's never been done. There is no judges. The fans are the judges. If, if, if I don't make the fans like me during my match, if I don't do something that's edgy or whatever, and the other guy has in the, that match, he's going to win. It's, uh, it's, this is a game changer. Win. Right? If they're the ones who are picking who wins, 
It doesn't matter. If, it doesn't matter if I wanted that guy. It doesn't matter if I was a booker in pro wrestling and I wanted that guy to win. Why? I mean, I'm not, I don't need a storyline that bad. What I need is those fans to go home happy and come back the next time. something that will progress. And you know what? People steal it, and I hope they do, because it'll show that I'm right. I think that uh, that's, you know, when somebody copies you or you know, mimics you, that's like the, the greatest form of flattery. You know, uh, they, they tell you that you're, what you're doing is successful. And uh, I'm just glad that I got to do it. <laughs> How many jiu-jitsu schools are in Washington State? Got probably hundreds. Hundreds, right? With thousands and thousands of students, right? And that, okay, that's just jiu-jitsu, okay? How many judo? Every YMCA has a judo team. Do you know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, uh, every YMCA has a wrestling team. I just created a sport where I can tap into them. I can go put flyers up in every one of their buildings. I can go get those guys. Okay, say like, uh, there's... There's so many guys out there that are training for MMA, right? There's not going to be that many guys that make it to the UFC, right? HPG Pro is a place where I can take the guys that wouldn't make it and make them stars. chances that you're going to get a concussion grappling is a hundred times less than getting punched in the head. I think that on every level that I'm bringing, I'm, what I'm going to do into it is bring class back to wrestling and I'm going to remarket it and sell it to all the people that are doing it. I mean, it's the fastest growing sport in America. There's, there's thousands of kids wrestling in every town. There's, you know, hundreds of people doing jujitsu and there's, you know, Judo, there's, I mean, Sambo's even starting to take it. People are doing that. And every MMA fighter has to train Jiu-Jitsu. So, how do I lose? Think about this. Last thing, and then let me get out of here. I do this in Washington State, right? I get a couple of the guys from, like, uh, say, Tacoma BJJ. And I get a couple of guys from, you know, say, Team Evolution, right? They're going to sell my product for me. Because they're going to want as many people in the building cheering for them. Because if they're not cheering for them, you think I'm going to let, you know, you think they're going to win their matches or whatever? No. The guys, what I've done and what people don't see yet is the smartest thing that's ever happened to grappling. And I'm going to try to prove everybody wrong.
Last question. Is, is Dave Havoc Hollenbeck done with traditional pro wrestling? Depends on how much they want to pay me. <laughs> Depends. I mean, seriously, I, there's nobody that has it. I mean, who, who, who in the Pacific Northwest has the... Who can be a better bad guy? Who can be a better face? I can do both. You know, uh, if they want me, they're going to have to pay for it. I don't care to do it. I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I've, I've gone as far as I can in pro wrestling. Now, if they want to, they're going to pay for it. And if they don't want to pay for it, I mean, let's face it, they're drawing 100 people. They can't really, you know, that's not, that doesn't, I'd rather do it on my own. I drew roughly that tonight. For an inaugural show. Yeah, and which is is a show that nobody knows what the fuck it is. <laughs> you know, seriously, no one knows what it is. I'm, that's why I, on the flyer that you made, it said, you know, what is HPG Pro? It's, it's, it's the newest thing that's got everybody scared. I mean, pro wrestling doesn't know how to handle it because it makes them look like they're faking it. Off jujitsu and piss off wrestling. And it's gonna work. <laughs>